Hello everybody, it's Rich Sense it is, and uh, I'm here with another upload to talk about my recent new technique that I developed um, that I believe is pretty unique. It's suspending objects in the air that you've seen on the videos. Um, spinning those, those that, that can. As you can tell, I'm having control over the object and I'm pulling it toward me with telekinesis with just a simple hand gesture. In total connection with the telekinesis. Again, I'm pulling it toward me in a gesture that is uh, very similar to the can and I have total control over it. And as long as you guys see the similarities between the PSI wheel and a hanging object as you can see here, then you'll be able to uh, have a much more better connection by looking at the edges and just having control over it and believing, seeing the similarities. You know, um, uh, that, that, that to me is basically like uh, the next level of the PSI wheel. You know, if you master the PSI wheel, which, it, uh, which a lot of us has, it has already mastered it, um, and you have control over it, some control over it, able to rotate it however you want to, move on from that, from a nail bouncing a paper to suspending the paper from string. And then, and then when you master that, move on to a, another large thing like uh, suspending a little pencil or suspending uh, a can and then move to bigger things like a larger can or a big stuffed teddy bear or even a red uh, uh, couch footrest that, that you saw my videos in you know a piece of furniture you know um this is basically the psi wheel 2.0 and um you know that's that that's all you need um you know people don't seem to be that uh that impressed by it maybe because it's like unbelievable maybe or um, it's not like rolling a can on a, on a table or something. Or, I, I don't really get that because the thing is though is that what this can lead to is really big things. You can um, you can move, you can rotate a suspended object like a couch. You could even do it to a car. You could even do it to a big old huge um, uh, rock star tour bus. You know, I mean, those things are possible. If you can suspend the object and it's in the air, it makes it almost 25% more easier than doing a PSI wheel, uh, uh, a regular side wheel, I guess that's a translation. You know, um, you know, there's no limits to it. I mean, the thing is though, is that it's a, it, it, it's a huge thing. It, it's very impressive and people should be very wild by that. And that um, it, given the opportunity, if I were to, if, if I had the chance, I would suspend and control a rotating car held up by a chain or rope or whatever, or suspension or something, or yellow straps. I, given an opportunity, I would, you know, um, suspend a huge tour bus and control that with my 2K. And those things are all possible. You start small, you grow, you go up. And the, the tip to, to being able to do these things is to just see the suspended to see the, the suspended object as as if it's a PSI wheel as a side wheel, you know? Why? Because there's similarities. You know, you have one object, you have both objects are suspended in a fixed. I mean, both objects are in a fixed position. They're unable to do anything else but rotate in circles, and that's exactly why there's a similarities because they're both. They're both PSI wheels, but a different, but two are different variations from each other. And uh, once you have that locked in, and no matter how different looking the can is being held by a string, as long as you think of it as a PSI wheel, you'll be able to have control over it. And then you can move on to bigger things like me, me spinning that huge uh, piece of furniture, red furniture, in the air. I mean, this is very impressive. I mean, being able to spin a huge ass tour bus in the air or a car. You know, it may not be rolling a small can on the floor or table, but I mean, that's the closest thing to to what we see in fantasy movies and, and uh, Dragon Ball Z and, and doing immense, huge, um, epic, uh, ambitious things. That's the closest thing that we can for right now, is being, it, be, being able to suspend these objects and control them in the air. And um, so Ricky Cespedes, uh, I just want to talk about that. And what I'm doing is real. 
I do have control over the red couch and the bear and the can while it's suspended in the air by a string and rope or whatever. I do have control over it. And it's real. If you watch my hands closely, you'll see that any direction that I'm pointing, I'm able to stop and redirect it, spin. Especially with the red couch video, the red suspended couch videos. You know? So I do have control, it's not lies. It may look like it's just kind of spinning around and kind of like, you know, just bounce, you know, like I'm just kind of like playing around with something that's not real, but it is real. I do have control over it. You just have to believe, and uh, I'm doing it. I wouldn't be uploading crappy videos for no reason. It's Ricky Cispedes. Thank you guys for watching, and master, if you master if you master the side wheel, move on to suspending objects and controlling it. Move bigger. Go to bigger things. Ricky Cispedes. Thank you.